Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I hope everyone is okay today. We're finishing the week with a lot of energy. My name is Jean. And I'm gonna give you today's webinar that is about dashboard and reports. Let me know, guys, if you can see my screen and hear me well. Remember that you have a chat and also you can speak with me through the Q&A, right? Let me know if you can hear me and see my screen so we can start this webinar. Okay, I think they can hear me. All right, guys. As I was explaining a moment before, uh, today's webinar is about report and dashboard, right? How you can make and report in your account and what tools we have in the dashboard from your VFX account, right? To get to the dashboard, uh, the first thing we must do is log in. If you're already logged in into your account, you must click over here and click where it says control panel, right? This will take us directly to our control panel. All right, over here, we got the control panel. As you can see, this is where our product is going to be. Remember that we have three plans. Uh, the first one, Reofax Platinum, Reofax Professional and Professional Dialog, okay? Um, if you want to check out the dashboard in your account, the only thing you must do over here is click on this counter, right? In any case, you have any of our plans, you will have it. You must click over here to check everything. When we click in here, this is going to take us to the old counter you will a moment before, right? This is going to tell us exactly what we have in our Reofax account, what we have done, and many more things, right? As you can see, you got the first contract over here. Um, it is actually the contracts that you can send daily. In any plan, even if it's Platinum Professional or Professional Dialer, you got this counter, right? Uh, this is going to tell us exactly how much contract we're sending today, or tomorrow, in any case. And this is going to reset at the end of the day so you can send your fixed contracts tomorrow, all right? Um, if you got professional dialer in this case, you will have the contract for the skip trades, all right? And of course, for uh, the text message sent by Plevo in your reflex account. Remember that you got a difference um, from the professional and the professional dialer, right? Just in case. With the professional, you can send text message, but they're not by Plevo, right? They're using your Gmail account. In that case, you can send um, as many text messages as you want to. There is no limit for it. Remember, that is only for the professional account. And of course, like I was telling the professional dialer, you got this counter. In this case, you can see that I have sent monthly uh, 15, uh, five, 500 uh, SMS by Plevo. Right now, I have sent only six, all right, this month. When your payday gets, this is going to reset so you can have your 500 text message again. The other counter you got over here is how many properties you have exported from your VFX account, right? Even if it is from the result area uh, that you click on Excel, and of course you get download those properties, that information, or even if it is from the follow-up too, all right? This is exported properties. Even if it is a PDF or an Excel format, you got this counter over here that is going to tell you how many properties you can download, okay? Remember that if you also got an assistant account, in this case, you can check and verify what your assistant account is doing. As you can see, 
I am in my main account, that is this one, but if I click here, I will change to my assistant account and verify all the movements that account has done. That is if you got one, of course, right? Okay, uh, the other thing that we got over here under the dotted line, right, is this amount of property. If you got the platinum plan, you're not going to see this. This is going to look like blur, all right? This is going to look very blur and you cannot see it because in this case, uh, this is from the properties that you got in your follow-up system. Remember, the follow-up system is only for the professional and professional dialer plan, right? As you can see, I got this amount of properties as buying, I have listed them as buying, selling, prospecting, and only listing, right? Over here in this counter, you can see how many properties are active for sale, are non-active, are by owner, that means homeowners, or expired properties, or they were already sold, right? So you can keep the track of how much properties you got in your follow-up system. Remember that it's over here. And that way you can know, oh, all right, I got this amount of listing. Let's see how many contracts I have sent to listing and all that kind of things. Right? Okay, very well. Are you following me, guys? Remember, you can make as many questions as you want to from the Q&A or in the chat box. You can talk with me and see over here what we got. If you got any question to the process, stop me and I will gladly answer them. All right. The other thing, all right, is this counter, those three counters over here. The first one is all the pending tasks that we got in our account, right? Well, the first one is all the tasks we have done. This is the pending tasks. And this is the document sent, all right? Let's go first. All right, over here, this is the follow-up task. This is all I have done in my follow-up system, okay? You can check and verify how much text message through your email you have sent to your Pliva account if you have professional dialer, if you have sent emails, documents, calls, voicemail, everything over here, all right? And if you do them, it's going to look like green one. And if you already did them and they receive it, it's going to look like blue. You can filter, right, this uh, counter over here. As you can see, I have, I have done any task right now in my follow-up. But if I click, for example, last week, let's see what we got. You can verify that I have sent text, uh, six text message by Plevo, right? They were sent over here, all right? You can move this and, of course, refresh it, clicking over here. Let's check out last month. In that way, you can see what you have done and put it over there in the follow-up. Remember that you can also put a date in between and a specific date that you want to analyze. For example, not last month, let's say the last past two weeks. You can do that clicking over here and clicking today. And let's check what we have done. In this case, you can see that I have sent six text message and sent two emails. In that way, you can keep track of everything you do, all right? Now, we also got over here uh, the documents you have sent with your account. Remember, with the professional and the professional dialer, you can send several documents at a time, all right? If you got the platinum, you can send one contract at a time from the overview of any property. All right, let me show you how it looks like. This is the follow-up document sent. You can keep track of, for example, offers received, the contracts you have sent, how many proof of fund you have sent in the past, the earnest money deposit, and of course, addendums. Let's put, for example, last month. As you can see, I have sent this amount of contracts, of course, in this case, you can see the details. How many proof of fund? Only one contract, but how many offers I received, all right? In that case, you can keep track. The same thing with the pending tasks, all right? In this case, I got two documents pending to be sent, all right? Last month, between, you can filter this, whatever you would like to. 
Okay, are we good, guys? Are you following me right? Okay, let's keep going. If everything is okay, then you don't have questions. Okay. You can also check uh, how many contracts, which contract you have sent today, right? Clicking over here. When we click over here in the 050 contracts daily, right? You can verify the contracts you have sent, not only today, because you can filter the contracts, all right? For example, if you put it for an address, if you got the address already, but let's say that you got a date in between two. And of course, you can filter that. Let's put, for example, since the 1st of September. And of course, until today. And let's see if indeed I already sent contracts in that time. As you can see, I haven't sent contracts on September. But if I put, for example, August, that might change. It is only a thing that you must filter this and manage it whatever you would like to, right? Let's click on filter. And you can see the contracts that I sent, right? As you can see the address, the folio number, and of course the date, that is the important thing. And if in case you would like to, for example, open this PDF and check it out, you can click over here and it will open a new window so you can check the contract that you already sent, all right? Or if you want to send it by email, you can also copy over here the URL and send it to an email, all right? Or you can send them also by text message through Plevo using the phone line too. That is one of the op options, all right? Let's go back over here. Okay, this is for you to keep track. Remember that you can always refresh after you have done several tasks or you can change to your assistant account too. This is very important because sometimes we have the assistant account put and we make some mistakes thinking that that is the main one, right? Try to verify it. That is in case, of course, you got that, okay? Any questions so far, guys? Good, all right. As you can see, I click on the properties download, okay? This is to check it out, which properties I export into PDF or an Excel format. You can see the download date that was yesterday for me, right? Where it was downloaded, because remember, you can also download the information, for example, from the yield generator, right? And remember, that's also gonna count in there and you can see the source over here. Okay, if you want to go back, in this case, do not click on here, just click over here in this little arrow and click on back. Okay, now, the other thing uh, that I wanted to show you, remember that this is only, you can filter all this, all right? This is one of the importance that I want to show you. In the follow-up document sent, you got the option not only for date, all right, you got the option to filter this by the type of status the properties have. For example, if you got the listing properties in this case, right, this is all the things that I have sent to all the properties that I got listed in my follow up. Remember, the follow up system is only for professional and professional dialer, right? This is all the things that I have sent. But if I click on buying, let's see how it changed, all right? That depends of the status of the property and what did I send to those properties with that status. Let's put prospecting, right? You can check and verify everything. And of course you can reset it in here, refresh it, okay? Now let's go back. You can go back doing two things. You can click it over here in the arrow, clicking on back, or you can click on the greenhouse that will take you directly to the control panel two of your account. Okay, let's click in on go back. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you was the reports, right? That we generate over here in our ReFX account. The first thing we're gonna do for that is you can click over here in your main product, 
all right? Or you can directly click over the class in the search area, okay? Over there, we're going to make the reports for a specific area, okay? I'm going to teach you how to generate it and of course, export it to your computer. Now, I'm going to do a quick search, all right? For you to do a report, you got this over here. Remember that if you uh, have a license, okay, so in this case, you're going to have one of the specifics over here, okay? This is only for the ones that got a realtor's license or they're already with an agent. And of course, you can contact us so we can put that in your account that will allow you to have, um, for example, one of the reports. And of course, you can also do the expire listing properties, right? And of course, you got more filters in the for sale too. All right, let's click over here. I'm going to do a quick search. Okay, I'm going to pick uh, Miami Dade in this case. All right. And of course, for you to do the report, you must select over here one of the forms. All right. And a new tool that we also got is for you to draw the form that you would like to. You can draw them in the area that you would like to explore. That depends on your pulse, of course. So you can see mine's not that awesome, <laughs> okay? We got over here this area, or you can erase it and pick one of these forms too, okay? All right, I got over here. Now, how can I do my report, okay? The first one that we're going to do is the X-ray report. Okay, in this case, it's miami Dade, Florida. I already picked them. I click on X-ray. Okay, now I'm going to select the type of property that I would like to check the report, all right? You got single family over here, but you can also analyze a condo, a town, a villa, multifamily, vacant land, small home, other. You can do the report of any of these type of property. In my case, I'm going to click single family, all right? To check it out and verify everything. And of course, after I already did this, I click over here, and now I click on apply. Let's wait for it, okay? This is going to analyze you, right? Remember, this report, you can export it to your computer at any moment. There is no necessary thing for you to click on print or anything, no. You can save it in an instant. There is no issue with that. Are we good, guys? You're following me well? No questions so far, we're good. Remember, you can chat with me through the Q&A or in the chat box. You can also raise your hand or make a reaction just in case that you got some questions. All right, this is the x ray report, as you can see. The first thing that you got over here is my picture in this case, the name of your name, perhaps the email of your company. If you want to set up this information, you can always call us. You can chat with us over here, all right? You can click over here, this will open a new window, and you can tell us that you would like to have, for example, the picture of your company or the email of your company, the phone, anything. This can be set up, right, in your account, so there is no issue. Now, the x-ray report, okay, is going to give us a comparison. I was trying to explain with you uh, what you got over here in these two analyze was trying to tell you that you got uh, the subject area you pick and the county area, right, for you to compare. The first thing is total properties, how many properties you got. You got distressed properties. You got pre-foreclosure properties, foreclosure, upside down, not in foreclosure, right? Active for sale with an agent, owner-occupied and not owner-occupied. You got the subject area and the county area. And you also got the percentage over here. You also got from this, of course, some graphics for you to verify it and have it a more broader view. As you can see, the subject area got many more distressed properties than the county area. As you can verify it over here, the percentage, all right? The pre-foreclosure properties that you got, you can check out the amount and, of course, the percentage the same way. Foreclosures property, upside down, not in foreclosure, and active for sale. Owner occupied, 
and not owner occupied. This is all the graphics from this link that you got over here. Okay, now under the dotted line, we go again with an a specific things. For example, total pre foreclosure properties. We're exactly in the foreclosure area over here. Total pre foreclosure, as you can see, the subject area with the county area. The pre foreclosures active for sale, that means with an agent. Pre foreclosures not for sale. All right. And now you also got the pre foreclosures with equity, less than a certain percentage of equity, that is a minus equity. All right. Pre foreclosure with more than zero percentage of equity. You can see that they, we have a lot over here, all right? And pre foreclosures with more than 30% of equity, okay? You can make the comparison with the county area and the subject area, like I was telling you. And not only this, you can verify it in the graphic. If you're perhaps use it more with the colors and everything, we got it displayed it in here. Remember, the county area is always going to be the blue one, all right? The same pre foreclosure with less than zero percentage of equity, pre foreclosures with zero percentage more equity. And that way you can compare the subject you click and, of course, the county area. Now, we also got over here, this is only for foreclosure, all right? Not pre foreclosure. As you can see, total foreclosure, right? The quantity you have in the subject area, the same thing we got in the top. Foreclosures active for sale, quantity area, and of course, foreclosures not for sale. The same thing you got over here in the graphics. Now, the other thing is upside down, not in foreclosure. Upside down, not in foreclosure, but active for sale. And of course, properties that upside down, not in foreclosure and not for sale, right? This is only going to give you the both of options. As you can see, we've got many, many properties over here. Total upside down, not in foreclosure. Okay, this is the total amount that you got. Of course, you got the graphic for the same area. All right, let's go scroll down. Okay, this is for active for sale, total active for sale. Properties for sale with 30% equity or more. Okay, remember that the actives for sale are with an agent, okay? Foreclosures for sale with 30% equity or more, you got it over here. And of course, you can verify that there aren't any foreclosures with for sale with 30% more of equity. All right, anyways, the county area doesn't have that much, okay? You can make a really good comparison over here. The other one is total zone in the last six months. Average sold in the last six months, total active for sale. This is the for sale property. And you also got months of inventory in here. How many months that properties have been in the inventory. And of course, that depends on the days on the market. Remember, average days on the market, this amount. Okay, you can make the comparison to over here. Subject area, county area. And of course, the last one you got is the average sold price for three months. You can make the really good comparisons if you want to sell a property you got in the area we pick, okay? So you can verify, okay, okay the county area is this amount, but perhaps in the 12 months, we got this amount. You can make a really good price fixing between those two amounts, okay? This is the subject area, the green one, and the county area. Okay, now we also got a really good graphic in here, all right? How to analyze it. Okay, the first thing over here is the price that we got over here, average sold price, okay? This is the, the price and down below is the months, right? You can analyze it from a whole year, the last 12 months and the last three months, okay? Remember the blue one is the county area full. And the green one is going to tell us exactly the subject area we pick, right? Inside, for example, in this county was Miami Day. All right. You also got the median sold price in the last past month. Okay. You got the quantity in that subject area. 
and the county area. Like I was explaining to you, you can actually make a good price, a really good offer for a property, properties exactly that you already did the search in here. You can make a good price checking the median sold price, for example, in the last three months. Okay, you also got it over here. If you are perhaps a more visual. And of course, this is the medium sold price. The same thing, you got over here the price and of course the months, okay? As you can see, uh, the last three months weren't too good. Perhaps mm, this would be a good one, but it's actually very fixed, very specified. So the medium price would be around the $409, as you can see. And you can make a really good offer checking this graphic. Any questions so far, guys? We're doing good then. Let's go up over here because I wanted to show you something really quickly. Okay, remember that you can make questions all that you need to, all right? Or make a reaction or chat with me in the icon on the website, all right? Now, let's say that you would like to print this or save it. So you can check it out by yourself, perhaps print them and have it and analyze it in physics or have it in your computer at any moment. So you can open it in just a second. You can have two ways, okay? The first one will be, of course, clicking over here on print, okay? This will open a new window. Oh, okay, let me just share with you. Allow me just a moment so I can share this new window. Okay share as you can verify in here okay you got all you can save it as a pdf or if you got a printer in your case you can boot it that and of course click on save or if you select the print you can click over here and print you got those options if you click as a save as a pdf format you click on save and of course it will open a new window you can save it in your downloads or your desktop whatever you would like to all right, let's click over here on save. And that way I'm going to save it in here. And you can always open it on your computer. That is one of the options. You can also do it clicking on save, save report. That is the other option that is going to give you. Of course, you can put the enter in the name of the file. Let's say x-ray file. Uh, test one. In this case, I click OK. And this is going to be available for me. Uh, I'm going to show you. So you can open it all the time from the tab over here. Or perhaps checking it out on your computer. OK, let's go back. OK, very good. As you can tell you, uh, you can change this in any case you would like to contact us and we will show you how to do it, okay? All right, great, we're doing very good then. Okay, let's go back over here, back to the search area. Remember, clicking on this arrow. If you click over here and the go back, it's going to take you to the page that you were before. All right, now let's do another report, okay? In this case, we're going to do the subdivision report, all right? Let's click in over here. You already got the area picked, but let's say, for example, that you would like to have mm, another area. Let's delete this and let's click in polygon one. You type in here, you grab the area that you would like to. If you have a really good pulse, it's going to help you. <laughs> okay, let's pick subdivision. Click over here. And the same thing, you're going to look for the type of property that you would like to explore. In my case, I would like to explore single family, all right? But if you want to, you can change it for any of this. If let's say, for example, you would like to check a condo town or villa, you can do that too. Let's show you how it is. Let's click on apply. Remember, this is going to do the subdivision report in the area we select inside Miami-Dade, right? Let's wait for a moment to be, okay. You got over here, remember this is town, condo, town, so villa, all right? This is total of subdivisions that you got inside that area you picked. 
Now you got the subdivision name, all right? The total properties by subdivision, the distressed properties, this is pre-foreclosure properties, foreclosure properties. You got the total upside down, not in foreclosures. You got active for sale. You got pre-foreclosures with more than 100% of equity. You got all these total sold in last three months, months of inventory, very important, median sold price in the last three months, and of course, price increase, okay? This is going to be analyzed but by subdivision. In this case, let's say that you want to have all the subdivision and report with this one, okay? Remember that you can change how many subdivision per page is going to show you. You can change it by 50, 100, or 250. Let's pick 100 in this case. Now, if you want to analyze, um, for example, the pre-foreclosure properties by subdivision, and you would like to check it out, you can put it so ascending or so descending. Let's put ascending so you can verify. Uh -huh, you got zero because it was ascending. But if we put descending, it's going to show you the amount of properties over here that you got. And as you can see, there are eyes, not a section. It's a good place. The ground two. And of course, you can analyze it not only by how many pre foreclosure properties they got. You can analyze this place by the median sold price in the last three months, okay? Now, let's say you're ready to do a report with all of these properties, okay? So you can see I got 64 pages, but of course, if you want to do one by page, you can click over here, mark them all, all right? You can verify that you have marked the 100 over here, 100 selected. And of course, you can click again on print report or save report, right? You can click here and save report. And of course, it will open a new window again to show you this. Please enter the name of the file. The same thing with it. Subdivision. You put a name that you would like to have for this property. Uh, this property. <laughs> this report. <laughs> this report. Okay, subdivision report one. You can put the day of today, perhaps in the area you pick, let's say Miami date, right? Any name you would like to. And of course, click on OK. After you do that, you can also print them. Remember, the same way we did with the other one. You select the properties that you would like to have. In this case, the subdivision. You select them all. And of course, click on print. The same way you can save it as a PDF or print them so you can have them and check it out. And remember, you cannot only analyze it by pre foreclosures. You can do the same thing, for example, with the median sold price. You can put it so sort this of and them. And the same way you will have them in here. This is only for you to sort it out, right? And that way you will have a more specific area analyze in here. Okay, let's go back with the subdivision report. Any question guys, how are we doing? I suppose we're doing really good. Remember, you can always chat with me. So in the Q&A, you can make as many questions. And of course, you can also make a reaction. If you got a question, raise your hand or whatever you would like to. Okay. Now, we did the subdivision report and the x-ray report, right? Let's do the absorption rate report, okay? We click in here, okay? And now we select the property. In this case, I would like to verify all my single family's property. I will click on apply. Remember, I already picked the area and of course I got Miami Day in this case. But remember, this is going to give you a more broader view, all right, of the properties and all that you got in this subject area you select for in a specific place. Okay. Now, as you can see, the same way it was before, all right? You got over here the name. This is the profile that we can set up with you guys. And of course, you got over here the subject area 
and the county area. But over here, we're going to analyze in this place the total properties, total souls, total foreclosure sold, average soul, total soul less for foreclosure. You got over here the absorption rate, the total active for sale, and the months of inventory. All right. This is going to give you, let's say, a more specified, all right, view of all that you got in that subject area, okay? You got how many properties were sold in that place. As you can see, a lot of properties. You can see the percentage in here and compare it with the county area. You got total foreclosures. You got total sold less foreclosure sold and the absorption rate for this thing. As you can see, there are a lot of months of inventory, okay? You got over here the days and how many months, and of course the place. Now, over here is a really cool thing. <laughs> this is to check it out by price, all right? The absorption rate is going to give you for a specific price, all right? In the subject area or in the county area, okay? This is the quantity and the percentage. As you can see, up to 100, there went this quantity of property sold and the percentage you got over here. But if you pick, for example, for the 400 to the 450, you got over here how many properties were sold by this price, all right? This quantity of properties. Remember, this is the subject area. And of course, this is a percentage. And if you compare it with the county area, you can see how much properties were sold with that price in that area, okay? And of course, at the last, at the bottom, total sum for one absorption rate. All right. Any questions so far, guys, with the absorption rate? I'm telling you, this is super cool. This will give you an idea of how much you can sell the price of that property, all right? In the subject area you select or several properties you got in your account by how much you can buy it, of course and all over there, okay? Now, you got over here the graphic for the thing that we got on the top, okay? You got the total property sold, okay? This is the percentage. And of course, this is the price. Remember, the green one is the subject area we pick, okay? And the blue one is the county area we select. Uh, we are, I'm sorry, Miami-Dade completely, okay? And of course, as you can see, this is all the prices down below. Uh, I think a really good one for this subject area in this county would be this price. As you can see, it is not very shady. It's a really good one, perhaps around 350 and 400 around over there. You can sell or buy that property in that area for that amount. Of course, you can always ask for more, and that way you can analyze the absorption, right, to see how much that property has cost in that area, okay? Remember, this is the property that was sold, okay? And of course, you can save this information the same way we did with the other ones. You can print them or save them over here. You got those two options in there. Any question with the absorption, right, guys? No, we're good? Okay, let's go back. You click over here, remember, in this arrow, or you can also click again in the search button. So you can go back over there and verify the properties that you would like to analyze in that area. Now, the other one that we got, right, is the discount report. Okay, let's click over here. And of course, again, select the type of property. Single family in my case. I'm all single families today. <laughs> all right, over there, we're going to analyze. Remember, the discount report is the non-deb minus the third price, all right? That is the discount report, okay? Over here, we're going to have the properties in the map too. 
And you remember that I told you that if you got, for example, a realtor license, you can give us um, calls and give us the license, the number of the license. So you, when you pick the properties and you open them, you can actually see the pictures of that property, right? You can see the details over here, single family. You can see the square foot, bedrooms, bathrooms, the same details. You also got them in here. Now, this is the pre-foreclosure details, all right? You got over here the address for the properties. Remember, this is 10 properties. This is the 10 properties that we got in here. And of course, in here too, all right? In this case, this is the 10 properties we got up on the top, all right? You got the address, you got the zip code. You can verify it by zip code, actually. You got the plaintiff information now. Now is the important thing, okay? This is the discount report. You got the known death, okay? You got the sold price and you got the difference, all right? You can check out the difference when you got the known death and of course the sold price. Remember, most of the times when you sell it, you're not gonna sell it the same price of the known death. You sell it under. And it's, of course, you got over here the difference. As I was telling you, the discount report is the known debt minus the third price, all right? You got the percentage of the discount and the short sale days in here. This is for the pre-foreclosures, but let's say that you want the foreclosures, all right? You got them over here too, the foreclosures property. In that case, it will depend on the property. As you can see, I got my pictures over here. The same thing address, zip code, the plaintiff information for all the properties, the known death for the foreclosure ones, okay? The sold price, this is the difference, okay? The percentage of discount and the short sale days. You also got them in a graphic. So you can verify it if you are more visual and you would like to check the subject area where only Pre foreclosure sold this amount of property. Remember that we're analyzing by 10 properties, right? You got the county area, you got average sale of short sale, right? The average amount of discount, this is all the discounts based on the pre foreclosure sold details. The pre foreclosures. You got the county area and the average percent of discount. And of course, this is the foreclosure sold details. All the details we got, for example, remember this is a foreclosure, the details we got in here, this is the graphic for you to have it in a more viewer and broader way, okay? Foreclosure sold, average day of sale after file date, average day of sale after judgment days, the auction, right? Very important. Average amount of discount, and of course, average percentage of discount. This is all you can check and verify it. You can verify it in both ways. Let's say, for example, that I would like to have this one, right? In this case, okay, I verified, for example, by the address 134639. 13, I got the plantis information over here, the known death, okay? And by how much price it was sold. Oh, all right, this is the price that was sold. And you can check the difference if it was a bigger difference or a less difference. For example, this wasn't that big enough. It was a big, but not that much, okay? And how to check that out? Not only by the money, you can check it out by percentage, all right? For example, this one, or oh, let's say this one, all right? This is the percentage of this count, okay? That would be the difference too. Any questions so far, guys? We're doing great then. I'm supposing we're doing great, not hearing any questions. <laughs> Remember, don't be embarrassed. If you want to have um, a question over here, this is the time for you to do it. Okay, I, can, I will go back because I wanted to show you another report you can generate too. Okay, but in this case, it will be a report by only one property, okay? For example, let's say I'm going to delete this because I'm going to do a really quick search in here. Now, let's say that I would like to look for properties. Um, let's put active for sale, all right? And let's say that I would like to have pre foreclosures in my case. 
and I would like bacon. Remember that the bacon filter, you only got it if you are professional dialer, right? If you don't, you won't have this filter. Okay, I'm gonna put yes in this case, all right? Now I'm gonna do a quick search with all these parameters I got over here. To do the search, we must click over here in the glass. We wait. This is for you to have um, the report from one property and a specific one. We go to the overview and over there, you can also make reports, okay? In this case, I got 25 properties for the search that I did. As you can see, the status of the property will always have your legend in here if you're still not very used to this. You can see active pre foreclosure, all right? Now let's verify this property that I got in here. I'm gonna open it and see what we got. In the overview, you got another two reports, very interesting one that will help you with the properties and the comparables and all the overview details, all right? As you can see, I got my ways of the report in here. I click on report, okay? Now I got the same one, the x-ray report with it, the discount report based of course with this property, okay? We got the subdivision report with it, but now I want to do these two reports in here. I'm gonna do the first one first, you can check it out. The PA report. Now, this is the proper analysis report, okay? In this case, you're going to pick what you would like to have in your report. For example, the details of the property, the listing details, the comparables. Remember, you got many comparables for you to check it out. Comparables, active comparable, distress, rental, BNB, okay? This is, remember, affiliated with Airbnb properties. The foreclosure, the foreclosure information, and of course, the X-ray report. In this case, we already did an X-ray report, so I'm interested in only this. I click on apply, and this will give us a proper analysis report with this property that we got in here, right? Managing, of course, all the information that we have. As you can see, the property details, okay? I got them in here. You can check it out, the listing price, the market value, the active value. In case that you would like to have the owner information, you also got it, okay? The sales history, perhaps if you want the owner's relative to chat with talk. And of course, remember it was an active for sale property. You are also gonna have the agency information and the offers for you to have it. You can see the for sale price, and of course, you got the many, many comparables in here, okay? If you have a really good internet, it's going to show you this, but of course you also got it in here, okay? This is only for the comparables that were sold, but if you want active comparables, you also got them in here, active comparables. You also got distress comparables. You also got rental comparables too. And of course, BNB comparables, like I was telling you, affiliated with Airbnb properties. And of course, the foreclosure information with the probates information too. You can have the representative and the attorney information. This is going to give you a whole report based on that property, all, all right? You will have comparables, all the information from that property, the foreclosure, the mortgage, the probate information, all of it, you have it in here, okay? And you can, of course, save it or print it the same way you did with the other ones. You can save it in here or you can print it the property in here, okay? All this info is gonna be at the hand of you only clicking. Okay, let's go back to the overview. So I can show you the last one, all right? It is an interesting one too. Any question with the property analysis report, guys? Okay, all right, let's continue then. Now, the other one is BPO report. I'm gonna click in here, okay? This is going to give us a report based on the comparables that we got on these properties. I would like to have them all. So I click on apply. This is a really good one if you want to verify 
and check the properties based right on the comparables close to this one. Remember that you can manage the distance of the comparables you want to analyze. Two miles radius, I think, is the top. Okay, you got the comparables in here. This is for you to have the comparable details. Okay, you got over here how many properties, right? The type of property it is, single family, the land value. This is the details over here, the information, the view. And of course, this is the information completely. May, value, so price, zip square, all. And of course, like I was telling you, if you are a realtor or if you got a license, you can give it to us. And of course, you can check the pictures of that property, okay? All the comparables will be at the hand of a click. As you can see, we got many comparables in here. This is active comparables too. This is for you to verify all the comparables close to a mile, 0 0.5 miles, two miles radio from this property that we select in the overview. You can always come back clicking here, or perhaps let's say you want to go back to the overview. You click in here and that's all. It will take you to the overview by saving the report that you perhaps want to print or save. Okay, are we good guys? Any questions? No, all right. Okay, remember the absorption rate report that we got from this property is going to give us the same thing, but this is close to this property, right? This is really mm, a comparison, all right, by the distance with this property and the others close to them. For example, if I want to perhaps put, you got the top over here, two miles radius, but perhaps I would like to have 1.5 miles. I click on apply, and this will take us to that report in that distance and a specific distance. All right. When you take us to that, you can actually mm, verify and analyze the same thing we did with the absorption report. But of course, this is going to be with the subject of that property, all right? Close to that property, okay? You got the subject area with the distance you select, all right? And of course, the county area completely, okay? You got the details of that property. And of course, you can check it out. The same thing we did with the absorption rate report before. The foreclosure information, the sold information, the average sold, the active for sale properties close to this one, okay? And of course, this is very important. Remember, over here, you got the total sold properties, all right? Just in case you can check, oh, all right, perhaps this, was a really good place to sell them by this price, all right? We got a lot of properties close to the area on the distance we select, all right? Or perhaps this one between, let's say, $600 and $900. That will be a really good price to sell or buy that property, to make an offer for that property. And of course, you also got over here the absorption rate report. The subject area, remember, you can see the pick over here, right, by the price. And of course, remember, the green one is the subject area and the blue one is the county area. Okay, guys, any questions? We're finishing this awesome webinar of our dashboard and reports, okay? You can make questions for our last and finishing this. But if you don't have one, remember that if you got some doubts doing the, this, um, these reports or perhaps analyzing what you got on your dashboard, remember you can also chat with us over here all the time. We will answer you as fast as we can, okay? And this webinar is going to be available later today. If you want to verify it, how to do perhaps a subdivision report, a discount report, all of this will be available. When you click over here in the greenhouse, you can check this webinar. And of course, all the webinars we have done in the past. That way you can practice your skill managing Reafax. And of course, all of that will be available for you. All right. Over here, you got this window called webinars. You click in there and you will have them all. Okay, guys, if you don't have 
any question, this was all the webinar for today. I appreciate the assistance and I'm very happy that you got all a good understanding and how to manage your dashboard. And of course, do some reports with your account. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful day too. Bye-bye.